Globalization produces changes in developed countries that imply the transition from spaces of production to spaces of consumption. This model benefits large metropolitan areas to the detriment of small and medium-sized cities and rural areas in a process of loss of functions, inhabitants and activities. The examples of Ayarez, Almagro, Astorga, Puzzerda and Trujillo show how betting on culture as a resilient and sustainable strategy generates positive results for their populations. The authors used inductive case studies for this investigation, with the intention of extrapolating partial conclusions to other places with similar characteristics. Ayarez, in the province of Orense, has developed a cultural identity that emerged as a movement to reject the pollution of the Arnoia River. This culture of respect for the environment, history and tradition emanates directly from municipal policies where citizen participation is fundamental. Almagro, in Ciudad Real, contains the only Corral de Comedias that has been preserved since the 17th century. Since the first Almagro Classical Theatre Festival in 1979, a whole series of restorations and new constructions related to theatre and the performing arts has turned a small town into the national theatre capital. Astorga is a small 2,000-year-old city in the province of León, which is trying to become a living history museum to face the current reality of demographic stagnation. In Puzzerda, Girona, the different nationalist governments that have taken turns in power since the 1990s have led a policy of repatrimonialization of its public spaces and traditional landscapes. Lastly, Trujillo, in Cáceres, is a city known since the 16th century as the birthplace of conquistadors of America. It is committed to creating a rich cultural agenda with an important weight on the history and relationship between America and Spain and the recovery of its civil and religious heritage. The case studies analysed in this paper have shown how the commitment to local culture has allowed for the establishment of specialisation compared to other nearby towns. The local governments continually propose new actions and new cultural projects to reactivate their inhabitants and thus keep their local society awake. Local patrimony has been valued with innovative proposals that have the determined support of their inhabitants. As a conclusion, local heritage should be thought of as a driving force for structural change. But the key to changing attitudes is citizen participation, both in the debate on proposed solutions and in the benefits obtained from them. Culture is a crucial element in the daily reality of these small cities. The local population enjoys this fact, which makes them different to other places and allows them to feel proud of living there. Their sense of belonging to the place is a priceless asset that cannot be bought or sold on any global market.